Nearly three decades of conflict and natural disasters have left communities in eastern Sri Lanka impoverished and scarred. The population in this area is diverse, comprising of Tamils, Muslims and Hindus. During the conflict, many communities were divided down ethnic lines and this resulted in limited interaction between neighbours and nearby villagers. The conflict has now ended and communities in the east have started a process of recovery. Youth continue to endure many challenges but also have the potential to lead the healing process. Sports for Change is a 12-month project that aims to forge positive relationships and trust between youth in communities. Activities like football, volleyball are a passion to many young people and were used as a common ground to bring youth together in a positive environment where dreams, ambitions and goals were shared. The Nike Foundation provided Mercy Corps with equipment and funds to bring together youth, parents and coaches in a year of tournaments, trainings and new friendships that will last a lifetime. Three of us were selected from Samanture for leadership training in this Nike project. At first my parents and elders from the village didn't approve of me participating in a program like this with Sinhalese and Tamils. They were concerned about consequences since we had very limited contact with them. I was able to participate in the program. After a while, they asked me to take my brother also to these training sessions. I was very surprised and asked them why when they didn't approve of this at the beginning. Then my mother responded by asking me, what will you say to someone when asked what you did as a young person? Then she said, the answer is the bridge of peace that you have crossed with the Nike project. I didn't know how they understood the objectives of the project. It may have shown in my behavior and attitude. Learning to trust and respect people from different ethnic communities while trying to form friendships was new to me. I have never had the opportunity of knowing them this closely before. I like the seminars and training sessions and I feel changed as a result. We had opportunities to meet students from many schools with different backgrounds. I enjoyed travelling to other parts of the district to take part in sporting events. We learned to see things beyond these gates. I'm lucky my parents understood the importance of this project and did not object to my participation. Mercy Corps trained us on sports and youth from all three races attended those trainings. Well, I am happy that we had a chance to work together and I hope future generations will see all three races living in harmony. We went to Irakamam to play against Singhala and Muslim teams. We spent the whole day with them. We were runners-up that day, but were even happier to meet and make friends with other players. The sports events brought together 1,800 youth between the ages of 15 to 25 from different ethnic backgrounds. The Sports for Change program trained students using a curriculum crafted with messages and activities of peaceful coexistence, tolerance and leadership. This was translated to local languages and delivered to youth in 12 villages across the eastern province. A series of tournaments with neighboring and regional communities brought the youth together in many cases for the first time. Earlier, we didn't have equipment to form sports clubs in this area. Then, we received all these sports equipment from Nike as a donation through Sports for Change project. These jerseys, balls, shorts, shoes made it possible to establish youth clubs. It revived a new sports culture among youth, which in turn made them form new alliances, wearing same clothes and shoes 
made us all look the same. There were no differences in terms of class or creed on the field. The final two-day tournament brought together over 120 teams and thousands of parents in an event unprecedented in the area. The Sports for Change project strengthened relationships between individuals and communities who have similar goals and ambitions of a prosperous and peaceful future. Relationships between youth and villagers were forged, creating opportunities for cooperation, respect and, most importantly, trust. One of the highlights in my 16 years experiences in sports was to witness the multi-ethnic sports festival organized by Mercy Corps and sponsored by the world-renowned sports brand Nike. Youth players from 12 villages and the three different ethnic groups participated in mono and mixed groups of football and volleyball. Well, it is the first of its kind and made it possible for youth in this underdeveloped area to achieve and experience something, a higher status, good health, peace and unity through sports. A great event was the recent volleyball tournament in our village. Youth, both Muslims and Tamils from the neighboring villages came and supported us as our own brothers and sisters. It was a very special event because of their support. The Tamil youth team from Veerabune became the champions after beating us at the recent volleyball tournament. I didn't feel bad about it, nor did I think that Tamils defeated Muslims like I would have before. We shook hands and congratulated them. This is the change in me brought about by this program. I am a Buddhist and am prepared to respect other religions as much as my own. These sports and cultural programs exposed us to new things and better attitudes. Now, relationships amongst communities have been built, even to the extent of Sinhalese inviting Tamils to their homes for meals and vice versa. A real brotherhood between us has been created. <laughs>